Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. Uh, it's called Braille by EDH Swede or Ed Swede. Not sure which way to pronounce it. I apologize. Uh, but I don't think we've done a puzzle by this uh, setter. It obviously does look like Braille. If you have any knowledge of what Braille looks like, it's raised bumps, or raised dots, I should say. Uh, but anywho, uh, let's get into the rules of this thing, see what's going on, because it looks like it's going to be a fun puzzle. It looks like it's just a very static, not static is the wrong word, uh, just a, a straight up uh, crop key puzzle. So Braille, normal Sudoku rules. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Now our crop keys are a white dot joins two consecutive digits, so these two would be consecutive, and a black dot joins two digits where one is double the other, so these would be that type of pairing. And that's it. So nice, quick, easy intro, right? Let's get at this thing. Links in the description below. Uh, let's start off with the obvious. These are going to be all one, two, four, eight groupings. None of the middle ones can be ones or eights, and we will always have twos and fours on all of these. Now, what does that actually tell us? Do we need to, like, to do the offshoots of these guys? I guess there's a two, four pair down here. And because the two, four, this can't be, because we know there's twos and fours in both of these. So none of those could be. So this is our two, four pair. Let's put those in. Now, I guess that doesn't tell us enough about what this is yet. What about where we have these crop keys, what I originally started thinking about? This is a two, this is a three. Can't go down to a one because the two would be saying there is a one here already. If it's a four, it could go down to the three or up to the five. This is gonna be the exact same thing. So this is a three, five pair. Maybe that does tell us what these are now because they can't be from ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. So this is going to be from six, sevens, eights, and nines. and it's going to have a seven and an eight on them. Now, I guess that means that these guys here are, one of them's gonna be a one, and hopefully that'll tell us which one of these is a two, four, eight. Uh, and the other one's either going to be the leftover six or nine from this grouping. Now, the question is, can we figure out which one of those is which? You can't be a one, just notice that, because these would both be twos, and I think that means this can't be a four, right? Four, yeah, that does. I remember this time, <laughs> those little tidbits of when you remove one from side from one side of the other. Uh, this guy's gonna have the exact same qualities as this. It's a three or a five. The problem is he doesn't have a pair. Now, I guess that means, well, wait, a is that actually true? Because you can't ever put a one on any of these. So one of these two will be a one, but I don't think you can put a three on either of these either. No, because if you put a three on any of them, what, what do you pair it with? Well, you can't, okay, this is actually not a three, five. It's a one, three. Um, which is perfect because that tells us this cannot be the one, two, four grouping. So this is the four. These are a two, four, eight. That four says this is the two. So this is a one, two, four. You can't be a one anymore. So actually that tells us this is our one and these are not, which means this is our four. Good. That's good information. Going back to here, the four says you are a three and this is the one. Now this can never be a two because what would you put here? Can't do one or three, eight, two. Now this is seven or nine. That eight says you can't be an eight. I guess that means that neither of these can be nines. And you could never be an, oh wait, you could have never been a six or a nine anyway. I just didn't finish the thought process there. So this actually just is the seven. Okay, this is a six, eight pair. If that's the case, this 
is a nine. Good. Now, I don't think we can determine this. Oh yeah, we can. The four says this is the two, which means these don't these don't have an eight. They are a one four pair. The two has to pair with the three. The four has to pair with the five. This guy, I don't think we can actually determine what he is. Because if it's a two, this could still be a three. And if it's an eight, it's a seven or a nine. Two, six, sevens, eights, and nines. Don't know that any of that tells us anything. Do we have any? Yeah, we, okay. Here we go. We've got one, two, four. We've got like a roping situation going on here. So we can't put one in any of these positions. So it has to go in one of these, which means this is the two. That's going to give us this guy being the one, two, four. It's going to force you to be a four, which means you can't have the one on them. So that is a two, eight, which means you can be determined six and eight. Okay, there we go. Good thing we saw that guy. Now, what does that tell us about this? Well, I guess what it means is either this is a 5-6 or it's a 9-8. And then on the flip side, this is either a 9-8-7 or it's a 5-6-7. Because we have to have two sets of consecutive sets of digits, one three long, one two long. Now... Oh, I also just noticed one of these is a 3, so one of these is a 3. One of these is a 9, so one of these is a 9. Now, you can't be a 3, of course. Does that tell us anything? You can't be a 3 either, because you can't be 2 or 4. You could still be a 9, though, because this could be an 8. Anyway, going back to that thought, if it actually does tell me anything... don't know that it does. So I don't think we can differentiate between the two. And the only thing we could say if this was the 5, 6, 7, this would be 5, 6, and 7. But I don't think that causes any real harm here because I think this guy can't be determined either. Obviously, it can't have an 8, but it could be 1, 2, or 2, 4 in certain orders. Or it could be a 3, 6. Let's see what those are, I guess. Because you can't be two or four. You can't be one. Because that means this can't be a four either. So if this, okay. So if this, what it does say is that this cannot be a two, four. Obviously, if you look at it that way, that makes complete sense. But it could still be a one, two pair or a three, six pair. And of course, whatever it is, is going to tell us what's going on over here. So how do we figure out what this is? Can we figure out what this is? Or is there something else we could be looking at, like one of these is a 7, so this is a 9. Those things help. Uh, one of these two has to be, oh, the 6 actually goes here. Let's put that in and put these guys in as a 5-7 pair. And then these two have to be what, 1 and 9? That appears to be the case. You have to be three and five. So nothing is correlating back though, but we can finish these rows and maybe something in these crop keys is gonna tell us what we need. You have to be five, seven, eight. You have to be one, three, and nine. No, that's not right. I messed that up. Hold on. Wait, that's I've made an impossibility here, haven't I? Or did I just type those wrong? This would be 3, 5, and 7. I feel like I did that completely backwards. These would be 1, 6, and 9. Yeah, I think I, I, think I typed those in wrong. What a surprise, right? That now works. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Um, you can't be a 1, nor a 9, actually. So you are a 6. If we think about the crop key, you're not a 3. Let's get rid of this marking. Um, I don't think that tells us anything, though, because this could still be the 5 or the 7. Uh, anything else there that helps us? I don't know if this guy is doing anything either, because it's the same concept here. 
Obviously, we can't do ones, twos, threes, and fours, but we could do anything from five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, you are a little bit restricted, right? Because you can't be one, two, three, four. You also can't be five and six. So you are from seven, eight, and nine, which means there is an eight on this thing. Okay. That is helpful because it can tell us this is the two and the eight. If that means anything to anybody. But we don't know if this is a seven, eight, or an eight, nine at this stage. Five, six, no. I mean, I guess we can start thinking about what these digits could be. Because we're going to be pushing a three up here. But I think that's the only thing that gets pushed. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I don't know how helpful that is going to be. Okay. What the heck else do we have to work with here? Is there more with this guy? Because what do we say these options were? They're either five, six, seven, where this is the five, this is the six, and this is the seven. Or there are seven, eight, nine. So there's always a seven. I guess that's something. And this guy can never be a seven, and it can never be a nine, and it can't be. Okay, this is just a six. Let's just make sure we did that right. This has to either be five, six, seven to allow this to be eight, nine, or this has to be nine, eight, seven to allow this to be five, six. That always puts, or we can just, or just base layer, think about what can it be, five, six, sevens, eights, and nines. And we get to remove all those options because you can't put the low and high digits of fives and nines. The seven has to be on either end because of each variation of that has a seven as an endpoint. And we have the eight being, this is six. Okay, so these are a five, six, seven. So that is the five, that's the seven. These are now not six threes. So this is our one and two, which gives us our four and one. Now these have to be an eight, nine. So that is the nine and the eight. Okay, perfect. Should have gone through those options earlier, I guess. What else can we now say? Um, we probably have some Sudoku. Like one of these is going to... Yeah, that'll help. The ones. None of these can be ones. You can't put a one up here, so one of these two is, which means we have an X-wing on ones, which means you are a one, and you are on the nine. Didn't really clarify any of this stuff yet, but there's probably more in that. Let's see what else we can push. Uh, one of these will be a two, and it's not this one. So this is our two. This is our one. Almost there. What about the threes? Anything we can work with those guys? Don't think, well, we can't, be, well, we already know the threes over here, so that's not doing anything. Okay, let's try something else then. Fours, no. I guess one of these two is a four. That's not super helpful. What about fives and up? Can this ever be a five? I think the answer is yes. No, it's not, because we can't put a four. So one of these two is the five. Eh, still doesn't really tell us much, does it? Sixes, we might just have to do the same thing we did over here in those options. Let's finish this off first and see what happens, though. Sixes cannot be removed from these guys, because it could be a six, seven, eight in some order. I don't see an, I guess one of these two is a six, but that doesn't help me. Let's try the sevens, eights, and nines. And then we'll move on.
This is a 4 8 pair. That forces you to be what? 3 and 9? And we can do that. 3, 9. That's good because it's going to give us these three digits. Right? Because we have to have the 3, the 5, and the 7. Now we already said these two can't be 3s. Is there any reason why this one we said couldn't be a 3? We have an X wing on 3s. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. So these guys are not threes. This is. Now, we said this couldn't be a five because we can't put a four in it. So this is our seven. This is our five. Perfect. That tells us what these guys are. That's an eight, nine pair. Or not eight, nine. A eight, six is what I meant to say. You can't be a seven. Three is seven. You're not nine. We'll go through our iterations here. What are you two? Maybe one of these two is what we need to look at. Four and nine. Yeah, this is the four. This is the nine. Perfect. That's going to tell us this is the nine, which means this is a seven, eight pair. You are a five, three, seven. This is a four and a one. Good. Let's get rid of that marking. Let's put the three here where it belongs. And let's see what these last two guys here are. Five and six. Six, five. That means you're not six, you are. You can't be three, you are. We've got to put fives and sevens here. Huh. We don't have either of... Yes, we do. The eight says seven, eight, which means you are the five and the seven, which means you are the five and the seven. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? Yeah, we had the four over here that I didn't see. So that's the eight and the four. That's going to force the six and the eight. This can't be three or seven. So you're nine, eight, two. You two are what? Three and seven? which means you are, what, six, right? Yeah. Now, has anything come down here? Yes, the four and the two. It's going to come back up and give us the one and the four. It's going to come back down and give us the nine and the one. Do we have three fives or sevens looking into here? Doesn't look like we do. So let's try to figure out these other guys, and that should set these off. These have to be fives and eights. We can do that one. That's the five and the eight, which forces the three and the five, which forces the seven and the three. And then we can finish these last two digits. You have to be a six and you have to be a seven. Perfect. Does not include solution. I will create a link that does. Um, 159 solves in four days. That's not a ton, but good puzzle. Really enjoyable. Very um, um, approachable as long as you really get into thinking about these guys and how they can all work together and then thinking about some of these other combinations that kind of breaks everything else open. So very fun puzzle. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that one. I'm not going to stick around too long with an outro on this one. I think it's pretty well set. So we'll see you in the next one. Have a great one.